Miles and mountains away lies a farm filled with feathered friends, like chickens and parakeets, pigeons, and even a pack of wild turkeys. But it's not all foul play here. The unlikely guards of this land are actually two little dogs with big personalities, Pomeranians Tucker and Star. Though herding all these birds keeps their paws full, this busy pair managed to find time to raise their own flock. They've just added triplets, all boys, to their nest. The biggest boy with the avian-inspired name is Sparrow. In the middle is Wren. And finally, there's Finch, who's lightest both in coat and weight at just three ounces. Star's eight-day-old triplets may be small, but their appetite sure aren't. Though their eyes are still closed, they manage to find their way to Mom's dining room just about every hour. Larger brothers Sparrow and Wren take up most of the space at the petite table, leaving tiny Finch on the wrong side of the lunch line. But what Finch lacks in ounces, he makes up for in determination and finds a way to use his size to his advantage. With the triplets fed, hard-working mom star finally gets a moment to herself in her favorite spot. She may have a rugged job, but she still enjoys a little toy breed luxury. It's too soon to know if the pups will one day follow in their parents' hard-working footsteps. For now, the boys need to rest up and leave the big adventures to their dreams. Over at the Pomeranian house, Star's three-week-old boys have discovered their feet and are figuring out what they can do with them. Tiny Finch finds he can now take himself to lunch. But that doesn't mean the restaurant's always open. Biggest brother Sparrow's feet take him to the far reaches of the living room. And Wren works just to get his feet back on the ground. With her triplets keeping themselves busy, Mom joins Dad Tucker on the farm to make sure all the birds are where they're supposed to be. With Mom and Dad outside, Sparrow finds himself exploring something new inside. The pups have been intrigued by this fluffy pink thing for a while now. And it doesn't take Sparrow long to see why Mom loves it so much. Finch is curious about the fluffy paradise, too. Wren isn't quite as steady on his feet yet, but doesn't want to be left alone on the floor, when that looks so much more comfortable. Making it to the bed is only half the battle. How did they get in there? Meanwhile, outside, Mom's ready to wrap it up and head back in to the boys. Only to find all three of them sound asleep in her bed. 
Luckily, Star's pups are pretty petite, and she manages to turn her luxurious bed for one into a cozy nest for four. Back on the bird farm, the Pomeranians awake to find three little visitors outside their window, who look to be just the right size for three little pups to meet. Led by determined Finch, the boys rush outside to say hello. But when they get there, the fuzzy strangers are nowhere in sight. Until they hear a clue in the distance. These are not the three little birds the boys were looking for. So the brothers take their search elsewhere. Here's a place filled with birds. But these are too colorful and too airborne. So Finch and his brothers carry on. But the farm is an awfully big place for three little pups. Just when they're ready to give up, a glorious sight appears before them. Not only the three friends they've been looking for, but a whole gaggle of new friends. Sparrow and Finch jump right in to say hello, while Wren gets a bit sidetracked. Herding is a natural instinct in many dog breeds. Dogs who nip at the heels of animals are called healers, whereas dogs that lead the way are called headers. And the triplets look to be a bit of both. Soon, Star and Tucker join in the fun and bring along a few friends of their own. Looks like these two flocks blend perfectly together.